hello everybody and welcome back to my channel hope you're subscribed by now if not at least hit that like button first off I'd like to take a look at the uh, trip wizard uh, the RV trip wizard uh, map that uh, you get with the RV trip wizard um, app I've talked about this before for a very low fee you get an annual subscription to use their web services um, for the year as much as you want and um, I used it extensively for my seven week trip up to Austin Minnesota and back so I definitely feel like it's it's worth it to help me find and find and plan all of the places I wanted to stay at and uh, when I was done, it gave me this nice record of where I had been. Uh, lots of tips and insights and maps and um, links to uh, usable, very usable and important um, other websites like where to make your reservations. So you can see in the middle of the map, um, the circle is around that little thing that looks like a castle. That's the icon they use for a Corps of Engineers. Uh, they're one of my favorite places to stay because they're typically very reasonable um, with most of the amenities that I need uh, for my needs. I, I don't need a, a full hookup. I don't have a, a running water type toilet. I use a composting toilet so I don't need a sewer hookup. But water is nice and electricity is nice, although I can get by without that as well. So after we look at this map and you can see where we're going, I zero in on a Google map of the town of Cherryvale on the far left. And uh, from there you can see two ways to get over to the lake, Big Hill Lake. and one is on County Road 5000 and one is County Road 52000. Uh, Google Maps took me straight to 5000 and it is all gravel and parts of it are very washboardy and it's a couple miles from the town of Cherryville over to Big Hill Lake. And on my way out of there I discovered County Road 5200 a little further to the south which uh, comes into the park at the south entrance and it is all paved all the way from Cherryvale uh, out to the park so that's one tip I can give you and you'll see there's a Casey's there in Cherryvale where you can uh, get gas it's about six miles from the park which is a good thing because I was down to like my last gallon of uh, gasoline so uh, got lucky there thanks okay so now we're moving on to pictures and videos from the park itself I've taken several pictures with my my iPhone 6s and some with my GoPro session 5 <clears throat> here we're starting a video clip that I'm running fast forward I recorded over an hour of uh, a video in this park it was beautiful driving around and on this beautiful day and seeing all the sights even saw a couple of deer at one point um, so I hope this isn't too jerky for you nobody's I hope nobody's getting uh, seasick or anything but anyway Cherry Vale Park is located on the crystal clear Big Hill Lake in southeast Kansas the lake boasts three camp campgrounds three equestrian trails and four day use areas for the public to enjoy camping, picnicking, horseback riding, hiking, swimming, fishing, and 
other outdoor activities abound. Yeah, for me it was mostly biking and I, I went all over this park, which is a the Corps of Engineers Park. I get half off, so it was very reasonable, reasonable for me. I believe the water was turned off, but the electricity was still there. And like I said, I don't need full hookups. Oh, I saw this thing. I didn't know what it was. Thought it might be for feeding the deer, but I uh, sent a picture to my sister and she said, no, it's for Frisbee golf. Anyway, back on the road here, I went uh, out to the highway and there wasn't much traffic. And uh, to the south end of the lake, um, where they have a boat ramp and around another park, a state park, uh, which was closed for the season and they had uh, lots of camping, tent camping, dry camping, some some hookups I think I saw and the, a very nice beach which is coming up here in a couple of seconds. So I think it'd be a real popular place in the summertime. Um, that was a quick view of a uh, dock that goes down on the Big Hill Lake and the next day was a little overcast but things things were still beautiful and I was pretty much there by myself. The RVs that were there didn't seem to be occupied and it was on a Friday and a Saturday so I think a lot of people put their RVs there and stay as long as they can and only use it when the weather's nice. Like I ran into one couple and they were there, but they only live 15 miles away. So they said, no, we only come out here when it's nice. And well, that's it for today's campground. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you all. Thanks. Bye now.